Okay, so your body just doesn't know how to do these new things yet. So you're really early on this. This is a great position to be in. If you just stayed here and turned, your bat is perfectly in line. So what I should see is, that, is I should see it turn right around that. Your foot's down. You were early on this pitch, so you got your foot down. I should see the bat stay right on that pitch, on that path. Instead of flat out? Yes. So look at how you just adjusted to make contact. You stood up, your chest is forward. This was a really good position to be in. And you just don't know it yet. So from there, you would, yep, you would just turn right here. I, this is only 2D, so I can't give it a full effect. Do you understand what he's saying, though? Can yeah. Can you repeat it back? You, if you stayed on that path, the bat would be pointing down instead of straight, and yep. you should stay on and, and this isn't as good of a swing. So this is not the same position. Go back to where you were. This is a great position. This is a, oops, this is a fantastic position to be in. And even here, you're still okay. There. And you just didn't know what to do with it. So you get here, just turn, turn the rib cage from here, as opposed to try to push to it. You didn't need to push to that. But your body doesn't know these things Pushing yet. with your arms. Right? Yep. See your arms come away there, Kate? Yeah. So you just so like, that bad in here. Look at, how, look at how different this one is. The right hand doesn't go up and back. It goes back to the catcher. We should see the right hand going that way. And it goes the opposite way of that. This one, you got more up and down. So if I look at that, spine angle got more vertical. It's a little bit petty, Get it now. but it matters. Okay, so she's more like this. This one you set up too, so let look at the position. Got more vertical. Although, let's look at the upper half pattern here. That moves really good. That's the move. When does it happen? Later. Later. Right? So you're doing it when you step. That's the move. The foot goes, but the arms don't. That's what you mean by later. So you gotta get you gotta get your hips in motion before you do this. This is close, but if I saw this from the side, your hand would be closer to the catcher than your elbow. But you at least are showing so that's where that pre how you're setting your hands, you weren't showing me this before. I made you do that. You were more like this with your hand set. Hands, it was actually more like that. Hands were higher. It's harder for you to naturally do this. So when you start like this, that move tends to do it on its own. And then it's just about not doing it too early. This is how I swing. This is swinging. But right now you're doing that when you stride. It's not striding. This is swinging. The upper half right here, that's how you swing, not how you stride. But you absolutely lasered this ball. So I'm not going to be too critical. Could you show her where her hips should be when she starts swinging? Is that a possibility or not? All of this is really good. This setup is fantastic. I would say 95% of girls that you play against aren't even close to this setup. So anybody that's outperforming you is often going to be just on size and strength. If you continue to swing like this right here. Starting this, you will get better at that move. But goodness, it's a hard hit ball. Okay. 